On today's Questions Answered, we're talking about the Priority Skyline, and that's Priority's e-bike that features Pinion Smart Shift, a powerful 750-watt hub motor, and a bunch of really cool commuting features. So let's get into the questions. And the first question is, does this bike have an MGU? And that's referring specifically to the Pinion Motor Gearbox Unit that was released not too long ago for the European market. And it is a really cool piece of tech that combines a mid-drive motor with a pinion gearbox in one unit. And that product has some really, really cool uh, capabilities. And it was really designed around mountain biking, so it offers amazing climbing ability. But what we've found is that for commuting, around town riding, um, and kind of general use recreational riding, using a hub motor is just as good, if not better, at high speed operation. So that's one of the reasons we spec'd it on this bike. It also offers exceptional value for the level of performance that you get. So this combination of smart shift gearbox in the center of the bike and a 750 watt hour hub motor at the rear of the bike offers fantastic around town performance, great commuting performance, really, really good range, and it's a fraction of the price of anything that might come with an MGU. And the next question is, does the Skyline have regenerative braking? And the answer is no, and that's because uh, if you know about regenerative braking, it has specific requirements, and those would actually make the riding experience worse overall. Regenerative braking on an e-bike requires a direct drive hub motor, and the downsides of a direct drive hub motor are that it's heavier, it's less efficient, and it doesn't provide as much torque at low speed as a geared hub motor. So we spec'd a geared hub motor on the Skyline to make sure it had powerful low-end torque at low speed, as well as high-end torque, and that it's much more efficient. And the other thing about regenerative braking is that even on a really efficient system, it will only send about 5% of energy back into the battery. So the downsides greatly outweigh the benefits uh, of a regenerative braking system. So we decided to spec a hub that was efficient, powerful, and was a great match for the application of this bike. We're getting a lot of questions about the Pinion Smart Shift gearbox and what it feels like to actually ride with that on an e-bike. Um, specifically in regards to what 600% gear range feels like on the bike. And on this bike with the stock gearing setup, if you're in the lowest gear and pedaling at 80 RPMs, you're going about four and a half miles an hour. So that's like pretty slow and gives you the ability to easily spin up even very, very steep climbs. Uh, and that combined with the 90 Newton meters of torque from the hub motor means it'll be hard to find a hill that you can't spin up easily. And on the other end of the range, uh, if you're in the highest gear, in gear 12, and spinning at 80 RPMs with your, with your pedals, uh, you will be going 28.6 miles an hour. So that means that at a comfortable cadence, you can go the entire gear range of this bike. And that means that you won't feel like you don't have a low enough gear on the low end, and it will not feel like you're spinning out on the high end, even at the 28 mile per hour cutoff of the motor. The next question is, how do I pair it to my phone? And the answer is, you can connect to the SmartShift gearbox on your Skyline using the Pinion SmartShift app. And using that app, you can turn on such features as uh, start select and pre-select that, that allow the automated shifting function of the gearbox. Check out our assembly video for more information. The next question is, how do I charge it? And the answer is, there's a charging port on the battery that's accessible with the battery off the bike or on the bike. If you're standing on top of the bike, it's on the left-hand side on the lower part of the battery. The next question is, what happens when the battery dies? And the answer is, if you're riding and you've used up all the power of the battery with the motor, the bike will get to a point where it will not have enough power to power the motor but you'll still be able to operate the lights, the display, and the smart shift gear changing system for well over a thousand shifts. And the next question is, what kind of range can I expect with the Skyline? And the answer is, we've tested it to get roughly 20 miles in the higher pedal assist modes and 60 miles in the lower pedal assist modes. But there's a lot of variability in actual range. So you might get more or less depending on a variety of variables. You can check out our other questions answered video about this very topic for more context. Uh, uh, the next question is, are there any battery or safety features? And we do include a battery longevity feature called sleep mode. So when your bike arrives, it'll be in sleep mode where there's an additional button on the bike to turn on the battery and wake it up from sleep mode. And that basically allows the battery to preserve charge for longer and will 
preserve the long-term health of the battery. Uh, the bike will also go into sleep mode after 72 hours uh, of not being used or when being plugged in on the charger. The next question is, how much does the Skyline weigh? And the answer is, the Skyline weighs 68 pounds. The next question is, what kind of maintenance can I expect on the Skyline? And the answer is, like all priority bicycles, we designed the Skyline to have as little maintenance as possible. So day to day, what you can expect is just having to air up the tires, you know, once a week or uh, pretty much regularly. And beyond that, we're just talking about parts that wear out. So 1,500 to 2,000 miles, you probably want to check your tires and brake pads. Beyond that, changing the oil in the gearbox every 6,000 miles. And then looking for belt wear somewhere around six to 10,000 miles, depending on your riding conditions. And that's pretty much it. A lot of people ask, what class is this e-bike and what does that mean? The Skyline ships as a class two e-bike, which means that on pedal assist and throttle, it's limited to 20 miles an hour. Depending on your local regulations, you can use the display of the bike to raise the pedal assist up to 28 miles an hour. That'll make it a class three e-bike. Can I take the Skyline to any local bike shop if I need to? And the answer is absolutely. Most local bike shops are happy to work on a priority bike and the Skyline is no exception. Aside from the pinion gearbox and gates components, everything on the bike is totally standard bike stuff. So any bike shop can work on it. The next question is, is there a range extender for this bike? And the answer is no, but we've also found that the down tube battery having 720 watt hours and the efficient rear hub motor make for very good range. So it doesn't need one. What are my options for carrying things on the bike? Well, the Skyline comes with a rear rack that's integrated into the rear fender, and that has a 48 pound weight limit. So you can use one or two panniers on there or strap stuff to the top. That gives you a lot of flexibility for typical day-to-day -day commuting stuff or recreational stuff that you wanna bring with you. It also has mounting points for a water bottle cage on the down tube, a water bottle cage on the seat tube, or a cargo cage on the down tube, as well as a cage on the top tube or a top tube bag on the top tube. So there's definitely some flexibility there. Uh, the bike is not compatible with a front rack, but there's plenty of options to mount stuff on it uh, in other ways. Can you shift with the bike off? And the answer is no. The smart shift system relies on the down tube battery to power the smart shift gear changes. Uh, so it can only change gear with the bike on, but even if the battery has been run down so low that it can't power the motor on the bike, it'll still be able to shift and power the lights. What is the warranty on the Skyline? Priority offers a five-year warranty on the frame, as well as a two-year warranty on all of the electrical components, including the battery and the hub motor on the bike. The other components are covered by a one-year warranty, as well as many of them being covered by their respective manufacturer's warranties. But if you have an issue outside of the warranty timeframe, we're always there to help. If you have any more questions about the Priority Skyline, Priority's customer service team is available seven days a week and is reachable on phone, email, text, WhatsApp. But if you have any bike related questions, post them in the comments below and we'll address them in a future video. Thanks for watching.